This is a tutorial to show you how to create a quick frame or edge effect in Photoshop CS5, CS4, CS3, the same PC or Mac. Uh, I'm using a graphicextras.com brush called Mottled, but uh, it could be uh, basically uh, any brush you can find on the web. There's many other brushes around, also on graphicextras.com. Right, now I've just got the paint tool. And I'm just going to quickly show, just going to resize the brush because the brush is quite big and the, the actual picture here is only just 500 by 500. So I'm just going to quickly decrease the size of the brush. Obviously, that's a, obviously if you use a big brush, it's going to uh, cover virtually the entire image. So uh, just going to expand that out so I can actually paint. Because one thing that's unfortunately loses the paintbrush, if you go too close to the edge, suddenly that paintbrush will disappear. So if you, so you go there you paint and suddenly whoop goes so you can't actually get to the edge particularly easy so just going to expand that out and now just put it to white at the moment that's standard sort of color for the uh, white background for the brush and now one of the easiest ways to quickly do it of course you could just do dabs just dab a frame in quickly of course you can rotate the brush via the palette brush palette is a rotate so you could sort of get the brush actually at the edges again so you could move it around to create different effects like that i've actually got a snapshot here so i'm just going to so that's the basic frame now one of the quick easy ways to get a frame i'll just quickly put that back to uh what's his name straight so okay that's that is to hold the shift key down so if you hold the shift key down and then click paint there just at the white then just so it just goes straight across Click there at the gain the other end, click the other end, click so you get a nice straight sort of design. Now I'm just gonna so that's that's the easiest way, just using the shift, holding the shift down. Right. Just gonna put that to black. I'm gonna decrease the size slightly. So sort of create a little edge around the thing again using this muzzled brush. I'm just gonna click there, click there, click there. And maybe decrease that slightly again. Right. And you sort of got a stroke. Obviously, it's not particularly great. You've actually cropped the uh, the poor model's face, but uh, uh, that wasn't intended. Um, so uh, that's a basic quick frame in Photoshop. Now, I'm just going to go back. Now, another way quickly create a frame. And of course, you could have actually, I'll just quickly show another thing you could do actually at this point. Of course, you can use the other brush tools as well. So you could just quickly use, say, a smear as well. So just decrease the size of that. And you can do the same sort of effect. So you just click there, click there. So you just create a smudged again, just quick, quick sort of frame, different, slightly different frame there. Right, just quickly go back to the original. Now another way of doing it is actually I'm just going to quickly go back to the normal paintbrush. Just going to select one of these brushes. I'm just going to resize to about the size. Just it's about 500 by 500 the picture, so I just obviously don't want the whole thing. So it's now I've set it to black, and I'm just going to go to quick mask mode. So I'm just going to click on that, and I'm just going to quickly click that bit of the frame. So you just got that central bit. Then select, load selection, quick mask. So the channel is quick mask. OK. And I'm just going to go back to the normal. And so now I could just, if I wish, fill that with white. So you've just got a quick frame. Of course, then you could maybe do a stroke around the, the design just to create a sort of black sort of border around that, if you wish. That's another way of doing it, using the quick mask. Another way, of course, is to... Uh, while you've actually got the selection, I'm just going to invert the selection. So you've just got that actual, just the inner bit. Control C, uh, deselect, and then just fill, fill white, and then you can just apply the design as a as a frame, as a as a layer. And then of course you can also apply layer styles. Then so you can apply a stroke, of course drop shadow, and even a bevel if you wish, and that's all. Right, so a nice quick uh, frame design using a layer style. That's another way of doing it. And the last one I'm just going to quickly use is actually using the history brush. So I'm going to just select the source for the history brush. So I'm just going to click there. And then I'm just going to go and select the history brush. 
mystery brush there and I'm just actually going to now do fill before I do that obviously because I just want to have some actual history to reapply and then the quick easy way of creating another frame so you just got obviously the standard background and then you just go click and you got instant framed design just highlighting that sort of image there of course you could have used arts history and then you could have obviously applied impressionist effects and all those sort of things and there's many other ways you could do some certain it's uh, but uh, like i say you could use brushes to create quick frames <laughs> 